What's up guys, it's Mark. We are in the lab today and we are working on the Gladiator and we are going to be doing the trailer brake assist kit. Uh, so stay tuned. guys so what is up today again we're doing this uh brake controller and the reason is is this jeep here has max tow our new gladiator has max tow as well but there's not actually anything to adjust the brake controls for this uh for when you're towing with the gt so this is something that mopar has come out with i honestly was hoping it was already built in i quickly realized that it was not so this is what we're going to be installing and again it's from mopar so they um do a really good job of integrating it into what's already there. So um, very simple kit, there's really not much to it. There are a couple other good videos that are out that explain the install, which we're gonna be doing as well today. But uh, if we miss something, you can always you know check out some other videos and stuff. But we went ahead and laid out what the, uh, what the components are in this kit, so we'll show you here. All right, guys, so you do get two different wiring harnesses. We already clipped this one in. Uh, it is gonna be harder to get to once everything's in, but you have the button, You've got a little ring here. You've got the little knob indicator, whatnot. And then this is also gonna go into the backside. So these guys are all gonna go together. This is gonna come over, plug into here. This is gonna plug into a factory setup. And then they give you some zip ties, some hardware. There's some nuts that go on here for mounting purposes. A little foam pad, that way on the back, it's not rubbing on anything. But other than that, that's all that comes in the kit. So after you open everything up, guys, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is go into the Jeep and if you have already um, removed the center dash pieces here, um, it's pretty simple for you. Um, gonna just briefly go over that stuff because uh, like I said, it's super simple. And if you've done any kind of modifications, whether you've added any other electrical switches or whatnot, you've probably already done it. All right, guys, so I um, usually say get you a trim tool kit if you don't already have one. And the reason is, is we're actually gonna go along right here and we're gonna pop this guy off and we're gonna take all the connections here. Once we get that off, there's a screw here. Phillips head, we're gonna take that or a seven millimeter. We're gonna pull that off because the brake controller is actually going to replace this plug right here. All right, so we went ahead and used our little pry tool here. We got behind it. Now it is time to just unclip these guys, which are pretty simple. Um, but when you're doing it one-handed because you're holding the camera, it's just a little bit tougher. So we are going to undo these guys. And we are going to take this guy. We're going to lay him here on the seat face down. That way it doesn't get all scratched up. Oops, sorry about that little blackout there. And now, like I said, this is a seven millimeter here, or you can just use a Phillips. All right, get that guy. Oh, maybe I gotta go back to the screwdriver here. I thought it was already pretty much backed out. There we go. All right, I'm gonna set that guy up there. And then basically, again, this guy just... All right, guys, so uh, we went ahead and got everything unplugged. The reason why I wasn't able to show you is I'm not too fancy with a nice tripod or a mount inside, and it's really hard to do with just one hand. So you've got a black and a gray plug that go here, a plug that goes here, a plug that goes here, and then this is the guy that we're gonna be working with now. Um, so it is time to remove this, which this, they say, is gonna be basically the most tricky part here. Um, we're gonna take out this center piece, which is actually gonna push forward out, and then we'll be left with this plastic guy here um, that we are also gonna have a couple tabs and we're gonna push out. But this guy here latches in, so we're gonna try to uh, go ahead and get that guy removed here now. Basically, we're gonna take a little pick, a little flat head um, to work ourselves down in here to release these tabs to get it to go forward. All right, guys, so what I found was best was to uh, 
wedge this guy in here to release that one and wedge this guy in over here can you see to release that one then what you're seeing here now is i'm pushing it forward for that center guy to come out right here so we'll go ahead and pull him out and go to the next part all right so now that that guy's out we basically have the tab up here uh, to work and the tab over here and then this whole piece right here is going to slide forward as well all right so this one's like butter it just popped right out there we go all right so that guy and that guy are out of the way you're not going to reuse those so we can discard them um, but if you notice here i laid down a cloth i do that so that i don't scratch up the front of these beautiful pieces of work and then now we are going to be grabbing these guys because it is time whoop good thing that landed on bubble wrap this is going to be our first one here and this is going to go right into place the big thing is that you got these two teeth here are straight up and top do this with one hand let's see oh yep boom easy peasy there okay next is going to go in is going to be actually you know what now that we got that in we got to put that guy in over there actually i take that back i was right this guy's going to go in now the important part here is just like you lined up those two teeth right here number one is going to be straight up and down and then that guy whoop, gonna snap right in we'll put this guy back down face down here and then this is actually going to be the piece that's going to go in the rear that's going to control everything a little knob there some little plus sign obviously that guy's going to have a little plus sign so we're going to put that in this piece is going to go towards the top like where those two little things go so we're going to put it here And then I'll be right back so I can use both hands. And I let them decide on what they want to do with it. So they're going to be getting that. Um, we've got the center back. So we're actually going to put the center back together now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to reroute the wire coming off of this over and under the steering column for now. And then we're going to remove the panel underneath the steering wheel just for helping getting us in and out and seeing what we're doing. All right, guys, so we put this back together. Remember the blue one that went here for the cigarette lighter we are not going to use um you've got a big clip a smaller clip you've got your gray and your black clip here this is the one that's going on our other panel but make sure you take the wire for this remove this panel here underneath the steering column and run it over that way you can secure that and then again like i said we're putting all this back together so don't forget your little screw here with your phillips head seven millimeter and we're going to plug in our stop start our hvac controls and then we're going to move underneath to get this module box put in all right so there she is all put back together wouldn't even know she was taken apart again i love the look of this like it is from mopar it looks factory it's supposed to look factory you wouldn't even know that this isn't uh, a, a standard feature if i wasn't doing this video and didn't know any better um but again i guess they can sacrifice that because they've got your media over here your ox plug which is what most people use cigarette lighter for so no real harm in removing that guy but all right, and as you guys know, underneath there, it's going to be pretty dark, so I apologize. Um, I am going to use one of my favorite flashlights. Uh, those of you who don't know, Wagon Tech. Uh, this is their Wayfinder LED light. This is the new one, so it's got a couple neat features. But uh, this is a cool little light. It's got a magnet on the back, so it'll attach to stuff. It's got a spotlight. It's got a floodlight. It goes red as well. You can um, recharge it here and you can also use it as a battery source so if your phone's dying and you have this guy fully charged you can actually plug a usb into this and charge off of it these guys make so much cool stuff man i could go into a day-long rant of all the different products that we've uh, gotten from them uh, but they did sponsor the trail team challenge too so that was pretty neat so shout out to the guys at wagon i'm not getting paid for this so if, uh, youtube don't flag me or anything just a really cool light inexpensive i know they are in some retail stores so I love having these in every one of my rigs, but it's going to help because it's going to magnet up there. It's going to give me a little floodlight inside for me to be able to see where the plug is that we need to find under the dash for our module. All right, guys. So we are underneath here. Kind of an interesting angle, but uh, if you look up at the light, let me see if I can do that. So this is the little plugs that are directly under your dash. See that guy right there? It's got some tape. 
that's what we got to remove here so we can plug into. Just shove straight up. Got a little piece of tape holding it up to another set of wire loom. So we're going to get a little knife. We're going to cut that tape off. We're going to pull that guy down. All right. So we got it loose. It's dangling right there. Um, this is basically the floorboard. Let me get a good angle in there. Whoop. All right. So this is the floorboard over here. You see the, the gray plug is right there. This is the area we're going to be working in. Shout out to Mopar for uh, not cutting your zip ties flush because that guy right there is pretty sharp and it looks like it's ready to slice someone open. But uh, we're going to be removing that wire harness that comes down. It's got a zip tie with a little Christmas tree fitting that is popped in. And that is actually where the module is going to go through. So that wire uh, that we were showing you that we just freed up, that's what's plugging into this guy and then these guys here are actually going through that little aluminum piece that you saw with the holes we're going to pop that wire loom out because we're going to use that hole that it's already into to mount this guy with the supplied nuts all right so let's show you uh, i do recommend plug in everything first before you get up in here but you can see there goes one bolt and then the other one if you follow that wire loom up again you got to pop the bottom piece out the tree and there's another one above it so once you pump ooh, once you pop the bottom one out you pop the top one out those are the two holes that you're pretty much going to be uh using to get that in there and angle but again plug it in first because once you get that guy in there trying to plug it in is not going to happen so i did both connections got it in there got the two 10 millimeter nuts and then what i recommend getting you a short one is easy for the bottom uh, a longer deep one is what I use for the top because I could kind of get in there, push the loom out of the way, and then tighten it up. Uh, electric ratchet was way easier because you're limited on room instead of getting in there and turning it. But that's it, guys. Um, not too bad. There wasn't, there was some decent room back in there for my hands to get around, so I was surprised. But now, just to secure and uh, put the wires up out of the way. Well, guys, um, that's it for the brake controller on the Gladiator. Uh, not going to lie, Mopar, you really didn't overcomplicate it. I mean, your instructions as usual aren't the best. Again, it's pretty much a picture book. So I guess they're saying, hey, if a kid can want to look at a picture book, so can an adult. Um, but really fairly simple to install if you watch this video. Again, you're just taking out the center. You're undoing the plugs. You're moving that 12-volt, that cigarette lighter, plugging it in, running a wire over, plugging it into the box. And you got to move a couple zip ties and wire loom out of the way to get it up in there. So I'd say if you watch this video or maybe another one of the videos, you can probably knock this out in about an hour if you've got all the tools and you've got the experience, you know, taking the dash apart can be kind of uh, intimidating at first. But, um, you know, the average person, you guys could probably do this at home in about two hours. So thanks again for watching, guys. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, if you've got any questions, comment them below. I know that that uh, uh, dial indicator does light up once something is plugged in. So there's that. It does come with a little manual on how to um, use it and the functions of it. So we put that back in the box for the customer. But thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the next episode.